<laughs> Looks like I've actually unplugged something I shouldn't have. Hey guys, I'm just plugging something in here. I um, get myself get myself sorted. Thought I'd do it all organised, but you know what it's like. So I'm just working on me um my Greeks at the moment. Just about uh, I'm putting a little bit of Agrax um, wash over the metal and the gold before I repaint the gold. And actually, I'm going to do the hooves as well. Shouldn't, I haven't done any of the other ones, but we'll do these ones. G'day, how's it going, mate? Nice to have you on board. Just thought, oh, well, I'm going to do some painting, so why not um, just check it on live and see what turns up, eh? What have you been up to? I suppose, it, is it your Saturday where you are? <laughs> Get the brushes wet, eh? There we go. 10.50. All oh, right. It's um, 2.50 p.m. here on a Sunday afternoon. So um, I've just been out for a walk in the cold with my wife. And so I came back and said, look, I think I'll go out the back and have a bit of a, a bit of a paint. So what are you painting? Or what, you know, what have you been painting? Sounds like the neighbours have just arrived home. Oh, this one hasn't got the gold done. That's clever. To put that aside. It's always there's always one where um you know, you're busy painting, thinking yeah, just about done, and um and then you think oh, shivers, <laughs> missed that completely. So I've, um, I've raised the camera up a little bit higher today because I think yesterday I found that I was putting my hand in front of the camera just a bit too much. Um, and you don't get on here to watch my hand. <laughs> just finished up some Napoleonic British. Um, oh, nice. Cool. Uh, what size? 28mm or um, 15, 10? These days I instantly think everything's 28 mil, but it's that's not so. I'm just trying to just dull down a few little bits and pieces here. And um, it just Putting it on the gold, the Agrax on the gold, because this is the, this will make it the third layer on the gold, and then I'll, I'll put another one over this, and um, it'll make it just jump out. 28. Awesome. I wasn't really that happy with this um, horse to start with, but, um, you know, white isn't my, um, my best. Cool. I just darkened it by one just on the old white horse just in case it makes it easier to, to see. Uh, I'm quite happy how this one's come up. I've just used um, sky grey 
as the base and then I mixed 25% uh, white in and then I painted it up again and then I mixed another 25% white in and I did it again and guess what I mixed another 25% in and I painted it again and just slowly done less and less and less but white's one of those colors where I seem to get it right sometimes and other times oh, I make a right mess of it you know, it'd be nice to just be able to get it right all the time So I've still got little bits to do on them. I have a bit around here that I haven't decided what colour I want to paint it yet. So are there any colours that you you um, you find a right pain in the butt to, to paint? Even if you watch this later, um, if you want to leave a, a note, um, a message, if there's anything that you, you think, oh, I just hate painting that. It just, I never get it right. Um, Maybe we can work on it together and find out a, a way of actually getting it. So more than not, we get it right. I'm really pleased with this horse. He's, um, he's coming out really, really well. So I've got a, um, I've got a painting tutorial um, that I've done, but I haven't put it on yet um, on how to paint this horse. And I've also done one on how to paint this horse here. So one's a, uh, the other one's a sorrel, and this is a palomino. So I've done uh, wee tutorials on um, how to get those horses done. The other thing is I didn't do the hooves or <laughs> the manes, which um, I might have to explain later if people want me to. It's funny how a lot of people don't like painting horses. I just, yeah, it's strange. I think you've just got to have a, a system, on uh, a color system on how you, how you do it, how you tackle it. They don't have to take as much time as you think. I am spending a bit of time on these ones. Um, so I think they're worth it. I, I personally say green or blue. Still can't find a nice triad for blue for French. Okay, so a um, uh, great triad for blue for French is uh, dark Prussian blue is your first blue. Um, and just paint the whole thing dark Prussian blue. And then uh, use intense blue as your second blue. But you want to make sure that it's not solid. So you want to put a decent amount of um, um, yeah, a decent amount of water in it. So when you paint the intense blue on, it's like semi-transparent and it shows through some of the um, the dark Prussian blue. And then um, you could use straight Prussian blue as the third highlight. Or you could mix something like grey blue into your intense blue to make a highlight there as well, depending on what you're what you're looking for. But that comes out as a really, really um nice blue, um, and that's what I've always used on my my French. Right, I'm going to go back from green as well. I'm going to follow a tutorial for those horses, starting with the massage. Will be helpful. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure I put the second, because the first tutorial up on how to paint these horses, that's up there already, okay? I'll brighten that back up again. Yeah, so they're um, the chestnuts. There's a tu tutorial on there. I'll uh, chuck up the tutorial on the Palomino. I'll do that tonight, okay? So I'll chuck that up. That'll be there for when you wake up tomorrow. And then in the next day, I'll chuck up the one on the sorrel, sorrel horse. And um, I can put some notes on how um, I've done the manes and the socks as well, because I haven't done it. It's not actually in the video. The video is just the main body of, of the horse. I've got, I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, um, Russians 
to do, but it's going to be a while before I get to them. I'm sure I did a um, I did it like because I did a giveaway of, of Russian troops a while back, and I think when I was explaining how I did them, I did a thing on the colours. So if you look back in some of my videos, you might find um, you might find something on how I did my Russian green. But I must admit, I am looking at thinking, okay, I need to probably simplify that. And, um, oops, I'm going to repaint that. That's not right. So I'll just stick with what I've done. Here. I just want these the gold here to really stand out as gold. Because well, I've got the brass helmet, I really want it to look um, much more gold on here. That's why I've, this is, including the wash, this is the fourth layer on the gold. With some of the horse blankets, I've got really, um, really basic. There's no, um, it's just, I made them look textured. I haven't put any extra lines and things on them. And some of them I've added uh, more to it. Some of them with more success, I think, than others. This one here is not my, my favorite. But that's all right. I'll get over it. I'm still deciding whether to put like a pink nose on one of the black horses. And I haven't done the socks on the black horse yet either. I haven't done a lot of black horses. So um, what I did with these black horses is um, because I spray painted black to start with. And then I did dark gray highlight over them, like the first, first layer over them. And then I mixed a little bit of, what did I mix a little bit of? I think I mixed a little bit of like a blue into that. It might have been Prussian blue, just a tiny little bit of Prussian blue into that dark gray. And then I did another highlight over there. So the blue kind of just, I think it just works on the, on the black. So it's, it's still a black, but it's got a, a tiny, tiny hint of blue in it. Not a lot, not a lot at all. That's that same horse, I still haven't done any on it. So we won't touch that one. So if you're staying up, what have you what have you what have you pulled out? You're gonna Pull out some figures to to work on. I do like that leopard skin. It has come out quite well, if I say so myself. Quite happy with that. Say hi to our second person for the for the afternoon. Just working on the um my fourth layer of gold at the moment. Oh, you're actually starting the seventh hussars? Cool. I've got some hussars um, from front rank uh, sitting there, but I don't have um, the horses for them yet. Um, because I did a bit of a swap for some painting, and um, I'm actually going to do the painting first before I'll touch them. G'day, mate. How you going? Cheers, mate. Um, they're getting they're getting near the end of um of what I need to do on them. Uh, I've just got to decide on whether I'm going to. Um, base them for the photography or whether I will um, not base them. As the army that they're going with 
is only oh, probably done about 40, 40, 50 figures of that, and there's 300 of them. So I'm just wondering whether to base the whole lot together. So now what I need to do is I need to quickly flick over here. There was one horse that I had missed the gold off. So we start off with um, a Citadel gold. And that's going to be our, our base coat. There. So let me just you can see. Hopefully, you can see the difference between. Where's one that's the same? That there. And that there. That should be. Brighter, stand out more. The thing is that I've I said to Vitrix that I would do a review on these miniatures, uh, so um, they are probably waiting for me to finish them, so I can put a, a proper review up and some photos up and send them to them. So and this is the first time that I've actually. Um, suggested that so um yeah part of me thinks i should have it have them based properly and the other part of me doesn't want to <laughs> a bit of a weird one i haven't found myself in this position before right what do we got i need so we need to finish off his his hat there so he's already had um US field drab is the base, uh, um, then green orca, orca is the next, and then I'm going to do um, the same orca color with um, sand 50 50 mixing it, um, like dark sand mixed into it. The cool thing about these kind of models is they are all slightly different. So you don't have to, like, you know, when you do French and stuff and you want to get all the uniforms all the same, well, it's not, it's not really such a big deal with these. You know, if they all look slightly different, then it's kind of cool. Okay. Where's it sharp? There. Got to do his beard yet. I haven't decided on whether to do him um, just like with a, a brown a brown beard or whether to um, make him a blondie. He's got a he's got a light hat, so maybe or even even a, a grey. Even a grey. Maybe a, I'll make him grey. Should we do that now? The first, first hint down, which will um, give him it's a little bit of dark grey. Right, so let's get him in there. I wonder if we can zoom in on him. Well, that's a bit, a bit bright. Yeah, okay. Get the going grey. Only problem is without that shiny light, I can't actually see him. So sorry guys, I need to actually put that on so I can see him.
Right, and we're going to use, haven't done this before, I'm going to use a little bit of grey blue as the light in it. And um, I've read about, I mean, the thing is, if, it's, if it goes wrong, you can just redo it. Don't know if it's going to make it quite enough here. Okay, I'm going to need a finer brush. Okay, so here we go. Definitely going to have to do the third highlight thing. Eh? I'll do um, I actually use um, rock Marta Kalinsky hobby line brushes um, and um, I also use um, Bellagio brush restorer and brush cleaner try not to um, try not to like put your brushes in your mouth too much because um, that can destroy the oils in the brush um, and make it so they split sooner. Um, it's funny because some brushes seem to last for ages, and some brushes to die and depending on also the miniatures that you're painting if you're painting miniatures that have harsh edges your brushes don't seem to last quite as long so we add a little bit more and do very very few A little more water. Right, let's just put the light off first. I'm not sure. Too crazy. Fella's going seriously grey. <laughs> but yeah, um, so these are the focus. These are the ones that I use. They're not expensive. Um, I don't get them from um, Warlord Games anymore. My brushes that I got from Warlord Games just always seem to split. These are from a local um, hobby store. Here in New Zealand, um, and they cost, these ones cost about um, nine or ten dollars, and uh, these ones cost a little bit more. Um, but I can, yeah, I can get quite a quite a bit out of them. Uh, the other thing is, um, don't leave them lying on your desk where um, they might get um, the ends might get bumped by different things. Um, and if you if you stand them up. Um, paint will end up running into um, into here I don't know what it's called into this bit here and it will kind of harden up in, in here so try and find some way of um, having it so you when you clean your bristles and stuff that they kind of hang down a bit I mean I don't know everything I'm not a I'm not a um, I'm not perfect at all this kind of stuff I'm always learning Oh, my camera's just slipped down. I'm just going to put one on. Right, let's have a look at him. I think he is almost done. 
quite happy with him. I'm just darkening it and then I'm going to try and get my light on him. I normally don't have any problems getting my light right. No. Sorry guys, I'm in a bit of a funny place here with my, with my camera. I can actually use the camera settings hopefully to take a bit of the light out there. So it's bright for me, but not as um, hopefully as bright for you guys. How's that? Does that look alright? Anyway, so that one is done. This guy here, he needs his second lot of gold, so we'll do that. Get out of the guys that have just hopped on. This guy here needs uh, a wash of Agrax once it's dry and then uh, the gold again, so we'll put him over there. This guy here is completed. I just put a little bit more in there. Okay, so he's done. Oh, no, he's not. Found a spot. Right. Well, done there. And this one's probably got the same tail to do, is it? That's. So important to check over your minis. When you're finishing, I'm just going to put a last touch of gold on his sword. Oh, next one. You're really pleased with the way these have come out. Probably a wee bit dark, wasn't it? Hmm. Getting close to the end of these books, isn't it? Okay, it's done. We've got this one. I've been wondering whether to put um, either dots down through here or, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I could put something like red, red dots down through that area. It's like it's 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 not quite right, eh? It's like it's missing something. We don't need to highlight the green a little bit more. So we'll put that one aside. And this one I haven't done at all. <laughs> so we'll put that aside as well. That one we haven't done this bit. But he goes aside. And that one, I'm just going to leave that one the way he is. Gold's done. Boots are done. And this one, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to find a wash 
the sepia wash probably or wash over that and make it more um, yellow using the wash rather than yellow paint and then I can um, that will bring out all the creases and then I will paint back over that again to be really careful over here I don't really want to get this on the actual horse itself Obviously, um, starting this late in the afternoon, I'm going to miss most of the guys over in Europe, England, and stuff. So, but as I said, I was going to be on anyway, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. We'll be right. Okay, so by doing that, it just kind of yellows it up a little bit, and then I'm going to repaint back in there. I think I've got ten ten yellow in there, and I. Turn it in, and then I what I'll do is I add a little bit of white to the tan yellow, and I'll paint in that again. And what I might do, since we're talking about tan yellow, is I might actually paint this here with it. I think that's the colour I've used. <laughs> And it starts to look quite creamy, doesn't it? I need to get onto some other figures after this. I can't spend too long on these today. I stick some. My varnish process. Okay, so um, before I matte varnish, I do um, a, a coat of what's called plaster coat. So instead of using a gloss varnish, I use a gloss plastic spray. And I spray the figures, and what it does is it, it coats it in, in a coat of shiny plastic, which gives it, um, well, it makes it more resilient, obviously. And then I matte, uh, matte varnish over the top of that. Um, and sometimes up to two uh, sprays. Um, and then if there's something that I want shiny again, I've got this, oh, this stuff from Citadel that I put on. Where is it? That there. So if you want something shiny again and you but you want everything else matte, then you can use that to um, and just paint it over the, the areas you want and they all come up shiny. So because sometimes there are certain bits of armor or different things you want to shine on um, and you can use that to do it. But that's what I do. I use, um, yeah, I, I, I coat everything in a gloss and in this case it's a called plaster coat. Um, it's not, a, not expensive. I just get it from the a local DIY store. Um, yeah, and I'm just thinking. I think I'm going to do this one green. Um, and then, yeah, matte varnish over top, which I just use once again from the DIY shop. Clear. Both of them are obviously clear. <laughs> you want to make sure you don't get um, anything that's uh, I use the right color. Yes, I am. Oh, um, yeah. got to be absolutely perfectly clear. I never used to actually um, coat anything, but it really does make the colors. Um, even once you've dark, um, put the matte over top. It, it keeps them vibrant and they're such beautiful colors. Um, obviously, for some of the guys that I paint for, um, or one of the guys in particular, he has requested that I don't 
varnish any of the speakers before I send them. And the majority of the stuff that I put on um, on YouTube um, is probably for him. So none of that stuff is actually um, varnished at all. Um, it's crazy. Oh, let's go get rid of a little bit of that. Right, where are we? I want some black red. What is that? So I'm just going to put a little bit of red under here, and then I will always start my reads with black red every time. No matter what kind of read I'm after at the end, I want to start with black red. Just gives me a real nice base to work from. Red can be a colour that can be really, really uh, annoying to paint. But I think once you've got it, once you've got a system of painting red, red is easy. Really, really easy. It's just working out your system. Okay, so I'm going to put some dots down here. Once again, I'm using my hook. Good enough. My black red is my starting point. Now they might look quite dull to start with. That's fine because they're going to get quite a few layers over top. And being that I just can, be very careful. I should have done the, the top part first. Much easier to paint the top line first because you can. Once you've done that, when you paint the green below, because you know if you're painting and you go onto the bit below, it doesn't matter because you can paint the other bit in afterwards. But we've managed to do that. What are we going to do on that one? Being that we've been painting greens and reds, we're just going to keep the theme going. That's a bit, it would have been much easier if I'd done it first. All right, looks like we've successfully stuck the first layers on. Now, while that's drying, I'm just going to put some Agrax um, wash over my gold there. And that'll be ready for our next layer of gold. Actually, while that's um, drying, I will find all the ones with. Ooh, we're not, not even picked what we're going to do there. I might do a couple of blondies. I'm not sure how many blonde blondinis. Well, my lid came right off instead of unscrewing. Don't you hate that when that happens? I even used my good brush to, to get it out. Shocking business. Right, so 
for blonde, the first um, layer I put in is um, English uniform. Obviously, in these guys, there's not a lot of hair showing. So we'll put blonde over there. Oh, I don't know. I might do another one here. Main shot, only just. <laughs> um, he is going to have, he is no here. So he's easy. I don't want to do, I've got a blonde on a black horse, a blonde on, we've got a grey headed guy over there, that guy there, I think I, even though he has brown hair, I think already, we're going to change him to blonde, and then that'll be it, you know, more of those. And then I'm actually going to do any other guys are going to have um, like a brown Brown here. I'm not going to have like I've got one black already, but that's all I actually want. Okay. Do 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 do. Make sure he's in place. Um, okay. So even in that time, we're now ready for our uh, next colors. Just make sure we have the right paint pot. I've got um, a new paint pot of red and an old paint pot. So for a different time, um, they're both exactly the same. But depending on what I'm painting, um, you don't want the old one if it's going to be something that's got to flow, like really flow nicely and easily. Um, I just use that for other areas. You know, you put the first red down, and sometimes you'll, when you paint, you'll, you paint that out, and you won't see any of it. But the idea is that you, you leave some of it sometimes, and as you stick the different layers on, it'll all work out. The first one was black red, and this is actually Evil Sun's Scarlet. Citadel color. The first one was Bellagio. Um, that one. Lots of scope to go wrong here. <laughs> It'd be very easy to muck that up. Okay, and I'm going to try um, a new green that I haven't used a lot of, and that is flat green, Bellagio flat green. It's quite a bright green, um, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to go here. or whether I'll be putting another highlight over it. It's quite a quite a sharp kind of green really. I think I'm gonna use that use this uh, green on my um, not mine, on some figures that I'm painting at the moment for Confederation of the Rhine, and I'll use it on the epilepsy. So the uniform is green, but the epilepsy green as well. And um, 
on some of them. Not all of them. Okay, so that's working. I'm going to use the same sepia wash on here. Which I shouldn't be doing this now. Because if I touch the green, it will go. Whoop, did you see that? That was my paint pot thing that's going to fly. Actually, I'm going to stop because if I touch that, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be toast and I'll be in trouble. I don't want to be. Um, even though it's probably going to be. Uh, highlight. Look, it's like Christmas and you know, highlight in between the little red dots with this uh, flat green. It's not going to make a lot of difference. Probably. But it will make some. Okay. Hey, night, night, mate. Thanks for um for hanging around and having a wee chat. Nice to have you on board. So then, my next colour is um, scarlet. On my red. Just. A little bit of that out. Not going to be much at all. Starting to brighten up the red. Now, I would normally do one more over there, but I'm actually going to leave that at that point. Okay, I use the same scarlet. I'm going to start a little bit more on there. And teeny tiny highlight. Let's go and do that. Okay. I need another little bit of tan yellow because that blanket is now all right to be painted again. You want to go with the um, you know how the saddle saddle actually flows. So for these bits under here, you paint with the direction. For these bits, you paint um, down. You don't want to paint against the grain of the actual model. If you can help it, because it does help. You want to do that on, on like all kinds of uniforms, really, when you're done, when you're painting. So, okay, so you can see there's a, uh, a bit of difference here now. If I turn that off, it might be better, it might not. There we go, how's that? So I'm going to put a little bit of white into that, just a smidge. You could put um like um dark sand into it as well um if you want to so and you'll get a we a nice mix depending on how much of a difference you want um I usually like mine to stand out.
はい、調べてみましょうかな。スパウィン。Do you have it? Final highlight. Of gold. I am all by myself. All by myself. Okay. He's, he was the blondini. He was a. It was a nobody. He was a blondini. It was a blondini on a black horse, wasn't he? Yep. All right, let's bring you a more wall back. We'll take the one away, the ones away that don't have hair, and we'll leave the one that does. The grey hair already done. He's being painted. Does have the tiniest amount. Right, so we're going to bring out Rhinox Hide, and I'm going to paint the hair with the tiniest bit of um, hair this guy actually has. That is a small amount of hair. But it is there. Obviously, some of them have more than others. I've already done that one. Some of them I've already had a bit of a go at. That guy there, yes, he does. I was about to say he doesn't have any here, but he does. Oops, I just touched the helmet. Okay, he goes over there. And then we just got this one, which I think has already. Okay. So, I'm going to do um, like just one highlight, and it's with a color that doesn't really exist anymore. Um, Calvin Brown, it's an old Citadel color, and as long as there's actually some left in there, I might have even run out of it myself. If not, we'll have to um, find someone else. Well, so, let's just have a look. Oh, okay, we can find. It looks like um you could use maybe um maybe bilge brown. Something like something like bilge brown maybe. Is is the colour if you um if you wanted to. Right, so let's um I'll just Keep it open by putting the wee top of the end of a paintbrush <laughs> in the bottle. And we're just going to stick a little bit in here. I'm not even sure you guys will be able to see it. <laughs> but it's got to be done. I've got to turn my light back on. Sorry, guys. And I'll just darken the camera down. Like that, it just allows me to see what I'm doing. I actually, I'll just change the, the room. Just noticed I didn't even have the um, I didn't have the lights on in the room. Probably about time I found a new paint because this one is getting near the end of its life. Teeny tiny bit of hair at the back of its head there, not much. 
one's even smaller. Then again, some people hate painting here. It's like, you know, you do all this miniature and you're getting a, all the way down, and you're like, oh, look, you have to paint the head. Um, all those Vikings actually really enjoyed painting the head. I mean, it was like it was a real integral part of the miniature. Righty, righty. So those are, those are done. And those are done. Those are done. We're getting there. So we've now got to finish off the blonde here on these horses. And so, as I said, it was English uniform is my first color. And then um, some dark sand. And I'm actually going to mix a tiny bit of, um, I want like an extra, extra highlight here. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white, just a little bit. If it will allow me. Just trying to see if I've got another one. Maybe. Yep, I've got a teeny tiny bit of white out of it. Right, I'm going to go for a finer, finer brush. Now, depending on um, how much you want to put into this, you can do a wash of Agrax over this. And then paint the last step of um, the dark sand in again. And you don't have to. Sorry, I'm painting out of picture now. That's there. I used to kind of use a yellow for doing my my blonde here, but not anymore. I've actually got a figure here. I'll, I'll bring it up in a second that I've just um, I've received, and they want me to paint more of the same. Where are they? So <laughs> that was my bond here on stage. And I've got to actually um, somehow recreate that. I just have no idea how, exactly how I did it. Um, so that should be interesting. Got to recreate everything. So I used to use washes for the skin. So. The rest of it, I think I'm fine at, but yeah, very interesting. Right, so guess what? The Greek cavalry are done. I've actually finished them. So uh, that's 12 Greek cavalry from Vitrix, all completed and done. So what I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'll end up doing some pictures of those and a bit of a review on them uh, now i'm going to i'm going to come back to these guys oh we had two on and now we've got none on let's do a bit, a bit of it at the moment um, and i've got to decide on what my first green for the jackets is going to be and if there'd been people on you might have been able to suggest it but you left ah, all right so these guys have got their first coat of gray uh pants on and yeah there's a few of them <laughs> look at me just pile on them in there just got a couple to do um and we'll just there's a, another group of guys just off the picture um, just slide these over here to make room. Table's a bit messy. Be careful, that thing keeps bending. I don't want it to bend. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test of extra dark green. It's going to be extra dark green or German camo green for the, um, the first color. I'd prefer if I can um, make it work without having to um, mix colors. And I need a paintbrush. Man, my table's in a mess today. This is not like me. Okay, so I'm going to slide back and find a paintbrush. I'm going to grab a couple of paintbrushes. <coughs> I got a pile of these cheapy paintbrushes. Um, so, you know, hopefully good enough for doing um, first colours. Now I'm just going to do this one figure and have a bit of a, have a look at them. I'm just not quite sure it's going to be the right green. Hmm. I'm just going to bring a picture up on my iPad. Just have a look at what they've, what they've got here. I think it's much darker green. Yeah, that's not the right green. Even though I think I could do some quite cool stuff with that. I'm going to go and try one now with the extra dark. Um, I think that's more like what I would use as a, um, a colour for um, the Russians. <laughs> okay, so let's just try this one then. It's quite similar, but it's got a bit more a bit more green to it. Yep, I'm going to go with this one. Once I've actually put some on, I'll show you what it looks like. Is there any green showing in there? Put a little bit in there, but I don't think there's much green showing there. Hello, Charlotte. Charlotte's amazing. Charlotte is going to be marrying my son very soon. Couple of weeks, couple of weeks. We're all very, very excited. I don't know if Charlotte's ever seen me paint live online before. I'll show you what I've been actually doing, Charlotte. What do you reckon? That's what I've just finished, my Greeks. Leopard skin. But now, all the fancy stuff's over, and I'm back to doing base coating of the next bunch of stuff. Hope all's well in Wellington. My son Justin's there. He's not watching as well, is he? Don't I haven't forgotten Justin. I'm gonna get that blanket out after I've finished painting. Send it up to up to you tomorrow. I probably won't be able to send those miniatures that I was talking about. I think it'll, it'll have to be just the blanket because I'll probably just do it in a courier bag. <laughs> it's nice to have my family on watching me. 
hopefully your day's been going really, really well. We've actually got a nice day here. It's nice and sunny. Mother and I went for a walk. And it is still pretty cold. <laughs> I came back and do what I always do. Hopped online to paint. And it's pretty quiet at the moment. You guys are the only ones on. Get a few on that have just gone to bed. And as you'll know, Charlotte, it's a little bit later overseas. A bit more water with my paint. These guys here are Confederation of the Rhine, and they are called Annault troops. Annault, or well, Annault Regiment. I've just done uh, three layers of skin, and now I've, well, I've done the first layer on the pants, and now I'm doing the first layer of green. And these guys have pink in the uniform of all things. Nothing like a bit of, bit of colour to brighten up the day. Especially when you've been shot at. What am I going to shoot at? The guy in pink. No, I'll fire at the guy in red beside him. My son has been painting as well, but he paints uh, 40k, and um, I think he's doing very well. Quite a while back, I put up a post of some of the things that he'd been doing. I thought you guys would be gaming this afternoon. Bit of D&D. &D. Has it not started yet? Six thirty. Okay. Strange game played by strange people. <laughs> I've got Aaron. Aaron's bringing me down. Oh, actually, I won't say. Because say Aaron's bringing me down my guitar. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Aaron's bringing me down my guitar from Christchurch. I probably won't be able to play it on Sunday. Because the strings will be too new, probably. Arrive on Saturday, and then I get to play it on the Sunday. Yeah, he's saving me the courier. <laughs> Who's got to practice me? <laughs> yes, I do have to practice my guitar. Um, I was actually, I actually have to do some today. So when I've hopped off um, here, I've got a couple of songs that I need to practice. I don't have to just practice the guitar, I've got to practice the words as well because I'm on a microphone. Hey, we've got three people on. How's it going? 
I'm just just saying I'm just doing the um the base coating for the green for these um confederation of the Rhine troops. Um, Peary miniatures. They are very nice, actually. Sometimes I like Peary miniatures, sometimes I don't. Um, I can find them a bit jagged sometimes, but these ones actually are very nice. So I've got 36 of these to do today. Just finished the um, the Vitrix Greek light cavalry. So they took me uh, a week to paint. 12, 12 kev. I tried to paint them to um, what I would call a reasonably high standard. Because realistically, on the internet, there are no pictures, none at all of them. So mine should be, if I do everything right, the first to go up online. And um, I've actually said to them that I'll send them a link. And they said, yes, please. So it's so more paint, more paint. Oops, that, was a, that was a lot of pain. I need to paint faster. There. Be careful when you paint fast. You don't paint over something that you've already painted. Or paint something you're not supposed to paint. I mean, I'm obviously going to have to paint the um, the belts and things again. I'm not too too worried about that. Just don't really want to paint over any hands or faces and stuff. Oh, I lost my chair. Here we go. Yeah, two figures a week. <laughs> hey, look, your figures are much more, um, got so much more detail and things on them than the figures I paint. And, um, yeah. And I've just realised I haven't actually finished those Greeks, even though I just said I have. Because sitting in front of me, uh, the sword scallops. So, um, I need to get those finished. I've put the first coat of brown on them. And Justin, how long have you been painting for? Not that long. I've been painting since I was seven. Can't say I was always painting good, <laughs> but I have been painting. So yeah, quite a few years, I would say. I think you're probably quite lucky because you're, you're painting at a stage where there's a lot more information on how to paint and how to paint good. So, you know, you can, it shows you your techniques. And if you follow them, you can get a good result. Um, and of course, none of that was really around when I was your age. You had to experiment and learn for yourself. Come up with your own techniques and maybe hear about some. It's 
as far as speed's concerned, you just can't, you can't go like this. You know, there's, there's actually no need. You can, um, if you watch the way I paint, I just, we're in there and we're painting. And I kind of paint all my layers like this. You know, there's too many to paint. And um, most good artists will tell you, don't hold on to your brush too tight. You know, let it flow. Let the, let the miniature actually guide you know, where, where, your hand, where the brush is going to go. If you've got your, your paints thinned down to the right consistency, they should just flow in. Stuff should just get done. Oh, I think we lost Charlotte. So that's a bit boring. We'll get rid of him. He's good. Do you guys want me to do a wee speech to you? I think normally the um, father of the bride does a wee speech, doesn't, doesn't he? And thank you to both. <laughs> I remember when. <laughs> I haven't got any funny stories. I actually have to start working on that, won't I? Stop painting and start working on my speech. And we chat. Cool dinner zero. Scared my son off. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my son. He gets married in two weeks. We are very excited. Not long left. Where'd you go? You disappeared. I thought you'd gone. I thought I was all by myself again. Normally the afternoon sessions are, are a lot quieter because um, the guys overseas are usually asleep. Normally do an early Saturday session and that's usually got a bit more. Then um here the guys watch them later while well, they work away. Picture. I think I could have done a little bit better in my undercoating on this one, but we will we will make do. We will get there. Let's cover up a bit more in a little bit.
green, 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 and more green. Still probably got about 15 to go. And after that, I think I'll paint some Swedish faces. Internet cut out. Some bunch of fascists out there cutting out the internet on you. How dare they? Okay, spin around, make sure we've got everything. I'll remember to um, actually, I might put that in the parcel as well, Jay. That, um, the Citadel thing that I've got for holding uh, miniatures because I don't really use it. So you can hold on to your, just click your, your model base in. I'll make sure I put that in, in the parcel for you. I must admit, I'm starting to get bored of painting green. Well, it's getting windy. What's it like up your way, Joe? It's funny having Justin on. Actually, half the time it's funny having anyone on. <laughs> Pouring with rain? Oh, dear. Uh, we had a little bit of rain this morning, um, and a kind of an icy wind came up, um, but then it went away and the sun came out. There's just no warmth in the sun, but it did come out. Even painting this layer on, I can see there's some, uh, some great um, bits in the, the clothing for doing some shading and stuff, so it should be quite good for the next couple of layers. What do we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen to go. Fifteen to go. Come on. Straighten that up a little bit. Actually, what I probably need to do as soon as I've done this is um, finish the, the bits that I missed off the bricks. And then they're done, like completely finished. And then it's that job done out the road. Another thing off the table. I'm almost wondering whether this would look good like um like a um, blackish, like a null oil wash over it, and then paint the same paint over it again. And that's the first highlight. Might have to try that and see. I do want a nice dark, I want a nice dark green. Could even mix. I've got a um, 
I've got a green wash. Could I could always try mixing a bit of green wash into the nut oil and um, see what that does. That could be interesting. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I do. On the odd occasion, I do use the the null oil to darken it up. And it's, um. Yeah, and then you, of course, when you paint the the color back over again, of course, the, the color is the same color as the one below. So it it just works. It's just a lighter version of it. And then um. Yeah, and then just a highlight over that. It's just because um, on these guys here, mm -hmm. I don't know how much I've been painting in camera, but these guys here, this is green and these are green. So it needs to be different than the green I'm actually painting now. So yeah, just been thinking about you know, what I want to do. Because I actually want, I actually want to start. Well, I'm thinking about starting with the same green that I'm using now. But um, if I did that, I have to have a, a point of difference. Um, obviously, my second coat, or on on the one on the top, would have to be different. Interesting. As people say, greens are one of those ones that can be a right pain. Get right, and even though sometimes I'm, I'm extra happy with what I come up with. Other times, it's not quite what I'm after. So what I'll do is I'll end up probably um, doing a test figure after, um, after I finish this test figure on the green because um, I don't want to paint them all. The mixed colors is something I'm going to end up doing. So, yesterday, Justin, I was painting these little fellas, which are slightly smaller than these little fellas. <laughs> and I was painting these little fellas, which aren't little at all. With they're completely horrible looking place, but that's all right. I've got to paint them the same as I painted them the last time I painted them, which was at least, I reckon, eight years ago. Might not be, might be six years ago. But um, that's a while ago. Around when I fought the um, Borodino campaign. Or big game, I think it was. So we got what, two, four, six, eight, nine to go. Yeah, see you later, mate. Enjoy your game tonight. And I'll get that um the gaming mat in the mail to you. Right. 
sorry, I was just checking out um, if the drummer has a different colour. But in the one that I can see, it's he still has a green, a green top. Down to about seven to go. Just keep on trucking. Right, but this, you know, this is how to knock them out. If you want to, if you're thinking, oh, it takes me so long, you've just got to push through. And like in this case, you paint the whole lot. You just, from beginning to end, you get it done. And um, so, you know, where's the joy in that? Then the joy in is actually like, oh, wow, look what I've achieved. Sometimes, yeah, the joy is in the painting of the fingers, and there's like, oh, there's hardly any to do or whatever. But sometimes, sometimes the joy is once you've got them painted, you've got them based, and they're on the table, and you think, wow, I actually did that. Um, I think you've got to decide before you actually put your paintbrush onto a miniature where, where you want the major enjoyment to be. You know, do you want to spend two years getting your army on the table and um, you know, spend most of your enjoyment or lack of enjoyment there painting or Head down, and you just power into it. Don't get me wrong, I want to make a really good job on these. Um, the trade that I'm doing for these figures, you know, I feel uh, really lucky that this guy um, wants, to, wants to do this. It helps me out big time. Um, so I want to do a really good job. For him. But I do want to get it done. And I want to get it done quick, smart.
any other thing is my lovely wife is sitting in the other room. And if I spend the whole day out here, I'll just kill me. <laughs> it's not that. This is the last guy. With the green. So I'm just going to grab one that's dry. Not all of them. I'm not going to paint very much. Yep, I'm not going to paint much. I'm just not going to wash that part. Make sure I can get rid of all the black. I don't want any black showing. This. Okay, so done. I think there's 36 of them. 36 of them in the green. There, and we've done the pants. Two layers of three layers of skin. Um, and that's that for now. And now I'm just gonna flick back to um, these guys and I'm going to use, well, am I going to use a little bit of bilge brown? Even though bilge brown looks a little bit bright. Let's do one and find out, shall we? Interesting. Not really sure that's a hundred percent what I'm after. We shall see. There's gonna be a lot of people popping on and popping off without saying anything. Sorry. Hey yeah. How's it going? Right, they're popping on again. No, that is not me. Funny. The really funny thing is that, you know, when you do this, I mean, you really are putting yourself out there. Um, I think I've only ever had one dislike, like a serious dislike. Uh, I've been pretty, pretty lucky, really. And what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of my gold on there. I think I'll paint those bits um, on the other one slightly different. I think I'll paint these with the same gold. I'm notorious for putting the wrong swords 
for the wrong people. So I'm going to have to make sure that I do these correctly. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Now you glue a guy on a horse. Oops, I missed a bit. And um, he's holding a sword, and then you happen to glue on one with him that um, has a sword in it as well. And then you glue one on that. You know, there's no there, um, there's no sword. And the guy that's in there, he's holding no sword either. So, and even though that shouldn't be there, we're going to paint it a little bit. What the heck? What the heck? The madness continue. Right, what am I going to do? I'm really just kind of throwing it out there at the moment. I, I don't really know um, colours I want to use for these. Um, we're going to give a little bit of English brown go on here and just see whether it actually put right on. I'm not sure. Let's put a wash over it as well. I don't even know if I was on The reason I'm doing these separately is I actually forgot all about them. Did not glue them on. Which is um, not a bright yet. Now, just for a laugh, I'm just going to see what happens. Flick a little bit of that. This one that's dry. Over top of that. Um, I'm not putting much on. Just a little. I have to put a teeny tiny bit of water with it so it flows better.
Where is the last one? And all I've got to do is attach them to your eyes. Which I have to be very carefully since everything is finished. Well, actually, I want to do some more on the gold jeans. Alright, next, 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 next. Just gonna stick a little bit of chocolate brown on. The handle. Which might not look any different on camera, but that's fine. That in there. Right, where's the gold? How's it going? Just finishing off the last little bit to go with my um, Greek cavalry at the moment. Been working on finishing the Greek cave and getting the annult um, infantry just a little bit further along today. Yesterday was all about skin, lots and lots of skin of different, different types. So this, as I said, the only reason these are here and not on the, the riders at the moment is that um, I, I simply forgot about it. <laughs> As you can see, I've only painted them one side. That's mainly because you won't see them. Well, I hope you won't. <laughs> oh. That way. Rightio guys, I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to leave it there, been on for just under two hours, about ten minutes to go, but um, my eyes need a bit of a break, so um, if you hop on and have a check of this, um, check of this ladder, I hope you'll enjoy, um, I've managed to get a little bit more done, so nice having you on board, see you later guys.